This video is brought to you by my two books, Practical Music Theory for the Rock Guitarist and the Blues Guitar Bible. Want to learn about modes, harmony, scales, chord substitution and keys? Or maybe you're interested in supercharging your blues guitar rhythm and lead chops. Whatever you're interested in, I guarantee you will be hitting the fast lane to progress with either of these works. Both feature video demonstrations and tutorials, loads of tabs and jam tracks to play along with, and I promise you, everything is explained in crystal clear plain English. Check out the links in the description for more details. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition, as always. I do hope you're well. It was the week before last, I think, when I did my first impressions quick little review of this pedal here, the uh, TC Electronic Ampworks Jim's 45 pedal. Um... About 100 quid these are, and it purports to be a whole boatload of Marshall JTM45 flavoured tones in uh, in a pedal, very affordable pedal. Um, it can be used in a number of different ways. You can obviously go into the input there, which is where, where else would you go into? Uh, but this output here is uh, just a sort of a neutral output uh, that you would plug into an amplifier you know maybe some pedal platform amp that's got a fairly neutral sound and you just want to give it a little bit of a martial flavor that's the output you use or if you're going to be doing what i've been doing which is recording with it come out of this output here uh, straight into an interface or wherever you record into um, and this has uh, a celestian impulse response there i imagine probably a vintage 30. Um, You've got two channels, a green channel and a red channel. The green channel is the lower gain of the two channels, uh, but I can still get a little bit hairy, um, as we will hear shortly. And a red channel, which is the proper high gain channel. You've got um, foot switchable boost for each channel. And, you know, all the controls that you would normally expect on sort of a JTM45 style amplifier, normal and bright channels, um, <coughs> output level, bass, middle and treble. Um, well, clever thing is that when you dial in a sound uh, on either of the two channels um, and then go to the other channel, it will remember the settings that you've uh, had for the first channel and then dial it in for your second channel, switch back to the first channel again and it will uh, remember those sounds as well. And then, you know, so you've got like four sounds. You've got the two channels and the foot switchable boost on each one. Uh, when I did my first impressions video, I was very, very impressed with uh, not just the sounds that came out of the uh, pedal, but just the, the, the touch sensitivity, the, the sort of authentic feeling that, you know, you could imagine you were playing through a big old uh, steaming Marshall amplifier. And I said that at some point in the future, I would be uh, putting those sounds into a mix. Uh, so that's what we're doing now. Coming next, uh, you're going to hear a pe and see a piece of music using a combination of various different uh, clean, crunchy and high gain sounds that that pedal produces with a variety of different guitars. Let's have a listen how it fares.
colour me impressed. Um, I think the sounds that this pedal created sat very well within the mix. Um, you know, something can, and as I'm sure we all know, sound absolutely drop dead gorgeous when it's in isolation, but you put it into a mix and it starts to just not kind of work quite as well. Maybe sounds a little bit thin or, you know, just doesn't kind of work as well as you ex would expect. But this um, didn't fall victim to that. Um, you know, for a hundred pounds, I mean, I didn't pay £100 with this. I got this as a Toman B stock, although you struggle to see where there's any kind of evidence of it being a B stock. It's in pristine condition. But, you know, even for £100, um, one of these, if you like that kind of martial kind of sound, and you, you don't want to be kind of going through different drop-down menus and scrolling and squinting into some little LCD display or something like that. You know, the, the other one, or I think they do an AC30 type one and uh, a Fender Twin Reverb type one. So imagine like having one of these, for instance, and the, tw the Twin Reverb one on a pedal board with just maybe a few delay chorus and other pedals like that thrown in. Um, you know, that would be a, a really good sort of rig that you could use either into some sort of FRFR um you know amplification system or just you know straight into a pa um very very convincing tones I, well I, I can't speak for the twin reverb but if it's as authentic as this marshall flavored one then yeah impressive uh coming up on sunday there is a little bit of a, a duel uh, as you know i regularly use the um the vintage channel on this amp here my, my uh, blue guitar amp one mercury edition and the um the the vintage channel on this amplifier has a very old school Marshall tone, which I like very, very much. I've said on many occasions that uh, the guitar tones I'm getting from that amp are, you know, the happiest that, or the best guitar tones I've ever been, I've ever had. I'm the happiest I've ever been with my guitar tones with that piece of kit. Well, we're going to put it up against this. You know, now these things here, they're about seven, eight hundred quid nowadays, I think, aren't they? Um, not sure. I'd have to check, but about that sort of ballpark for you. This is a hundred quid. How it's, is this going to be some kind of giant killer? We shall see. Obviously, the blue guitar amp one is just more than more than just a pedal. It's actually an amp. It'll give you 100 watts into um, a speaker cabinet, and you know, whereas this is, as I say, just a, a preamp. But nevertheless, um, it'd be interesting to see how the uh, the sounds that they create match up. And that is the video for Sunday. I will just mention that that um, piece of music that you heard earlier is uh, there's a tab as usual in both guitar pro full tab in both guitar pro and pdf formats along with a clip of me playing it and a jam track to play along with yourself all of that is as you can probably gather by what's on screen up on my patreon page there's the address link in the description as i'm sure you know by now three dollars or three pounds a month gets you access to all of these additional goodies that go along with these youtube videos and a massive massive thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways all of which are downstairs in the description and uh, that's it for today, folks. That is my um, slightly more in-depth review of the TC Electronic Ampworks Jim's 45 pedal. Make of it what you will. Hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful and informative and maybe even a bit entertaining along the way. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not drop me a like as well while you're at it. Don't forget the live stream every Friday, 5 p.m. UK time. We drink beer and talk about music and guitars and whatever else crops up basically it's a fantastic way to kick off the weekend and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now